How's it going, everybody? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to ship yourself in a suitcase. In this video, I'm going to show you how I quit my life at a dive shop and turned into a contortionist. How's it going, dive buddies? It is Kyle here, and in this video, we're going to go through our checklist that we just made, and we're going to pack all of our gear into this suitcase. But first, I got to get over here. Oh, and before we start, I just want to say if you haven't checked out our video on how to make a scuba diving equipment checklist, maybe head on over there and check that out first so that you know what all the different items are that we're gonna be packing up into our suitcase for our dive trip down south. So head on over to there, watch that video, and then once you've done that, then come back to this video and we'll show you how to pack it all up in a suitcase real quick. All right, back to packing. So step one is to grab your suitcase. Any suitcase is gonna work, whether it's a dive specific suitcase or any suitcase you have floating around, grab your favorite suitcase. In this case, I've got a cool suitcase I picked up when we were in Columbia last time. Love it, lots of space, great bag. Doesn't matter, just grab a suitcase. So open up the suitcase and grab your BCD and throw it right in the middle of the suitcase, kind of right in the middle, opening it up. And then you can place the regulator inside the BCD and kind of hug everything up, or you can place the regulator in your carry-on if you want. Uh, we'll go into some different uh, ideas for traveling with your regulator and why you might want to do one versus the other. Fins go on the sides. I like to use the fin pockets to store all sorts of other stuff. You can put the boots in there. You can put your um, accessories. You can put your lights. You can put your, your knives. You can put any sort of little thing you got in there. You can put your masks. If you got a nice little mask bag, you can put your mask bags in there tuck that bike back down in there and just like that we've already got our bcd we got our regulator we got our fins we got our some accessories we got our lights our knife our mask in here next what i like to grab is i'll grab the wetsuit and for this particular suitcase i roll it up and i place it right at the bottom so you put it right down there and that kind of keeps it um, all together now if you have a suitcase that is uh, top heavy and or has a narrower top and a wider bottom and likes to fall over all the time, put all the heavy stuff at the bottom. So put your wetsuit at the bottom, put your, your BCD down at the bottom. The other alternative that we can do here is we can grab our wetsuit and lay it right on the top. And that at the end of everything is gonna kind of keep all of your little accessories all the little things that you've got when you throw it in, it's gonna keep it all together and it's gonna keep everything from moving around, which is great, which is what we don't want. In this particular suitcase, I've got this cool little um, clip divider thing that I can attach to at the end. So I don't really need to put my wetsuit at the end. And uh, this is just how I do it. Keep in mind, this, there's 101 different ways that you can do this. And what I'm doing here, may not work for your suitcase or you may not like it and you can do something different for your gear but I coil up my suit at the bottom then we'll grab the boots we'll grab the boots and we'll grab whatever other little accessories we have float around we're gonna sneak those into the boots keeps everything contained boom there's a boot with a reel and a signal tube here's a boot with a compass and my little reef gloves, I need them. Boom, boots are in there. The weight belt, that can go there. Why? I don't know. That's just where it's gonna go. All the little accessories, there's no rhyme or reason to any of this. It can just go in wherever it feels like. All right, now we got our save a dive kit with all our tools. Make sure that goes in your uh, suitcase because there might be some picks or some, maybe some blades or some knives in there and you don't wanna have that in your carry-on obviously when you uh, fly, so you don't want to get that taken away from. So here I've got my snorkel. I'm gonna throw the snorkel in here. Let's find a good spot. Snorkel's gonna, you know what? Snorkel will go down in inside the fin there. Save a dive kit. Got our mesh bag. That will sit right on the top, like so. So in this particular case, my camera housing and my camera setup and the strobes and all that are relatively small, so I can pa I will pack that up in my carry-on bag, which uh, for me, I have this nice backpack that I like, and I have a camera bag, and so with those two, my carry-on, my personal bag, I will carry all of that light stuff 
um, and more delicate stuff that I just don't want banging around in my suitcase. Antifog, antifog as well. That might be in your Save a Dive kit. Um, I always recommend uh, bagging it up. It's a uh, liquid, um, it's a slimy liquid, and uh, the last thing you want is for this to open up in your suitcase. So bag it in a Ziploc bag or something, roll it up in, in a garbage bag, put that in your Save a Dive kit. And at the end, there may even be room for your bathing suit, your towel, and if you're lucky and your gear's super light, you may even be able to fit some more stuff in there. Um, whatever works to stay under the weight limit, that is awesome. Boom. Lift it up. We'll grab our weight checker, right? It's always, I recommend getting one of these. These are great to have, especially when you're diving. And we'll check and we will, oh. That's, this is uh, anticlimactic. So I gotta go get batteries for that. And there you have it guys, a super simple, easy way to pack up all your scuba equipment into a suitcase for your vacation. I just wanted to make a quick video on that. We could have spent probably 20 minutes and gone through all the different combinations of ways to put your fins on top, on the sides and the bottom, your reg, uh, or your BCD upside down, your wetsuit here and there and everywhere but I just wanted to show you that there are 101 different combinations that you could pack up your equipment and make it your own. Look at all of your equipment, go down your checklist, make sure you aren't forgetting anything and figure out what works best for your suitcase and your travels. Maybe there's uh, two of you and you've got to find a way to incorporate two pieces of equipment into one suitcase and a carry-on or something like that. So look at all your gear, go down the checklist, make sure you don't forget anything and get creative, have fun with it. And I'm curious guys, what tips and tricks do you have when it comes to packing up your school equipment for your dive vacations and trips? Leave a comment in the comment section below and share with all of us so that we can all learn from each other on different tips and tricks when it comes to uh, getting creative and packing up our scuba equipment. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time and happy diving. Now I gotta go unpack this suitcase because I'm not actually going anywhere. <laughs>